Hi, hello everyone. Today we are going to see a short note on complex numbers. Complex numbers. Complex numbers. Why they have introduced complex number? What is the purpose of complex number? That all we can see that and next we can get into the topic. Now let me say why they have introduced the complex numbers. Consider for this purpose you consider the quadratic equation. Uh, quadratic equation x square minus 1 is equal to 0 and x square plus 1 is equal to 0. Consider this two quadratic equation. Okay. Uh, we know how to solve the quadratic equation. It is very simple. So uh, now when you solve this equation, you will be getting x square equal to 1 and x is equal to plus or minus root 1. We know the value of root 1 is x is equal to plus or minus 1. So this will be the solution for the equation. This is one method of solving the equation. We also have another method that is graphical method. Uh, when you solve in that graphical method, first let me take that x square uh, minus 1 is our given equation. So consider x. X means uh, consider three coordinates minus one zero and one. X square means one square is one minus one square is one zero and one. Then X square minus one. In this you uh, subtract one with the every element. One minus one is zero. Zero minus one is minus one. One minus one is again zero. So when you solve this graphically, that is consider the graph. This is one two minus 1 and minus 2 this is minus 1 and this is minus 2 1 and 2 when you solve this here the coordinates what are all the coordinates we have minus 1 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 1 and 1 comma 0 these three coordinates we have got from this table so uh, first to solve this what we have minus 1 comma 0 it's here 0 comma minus 1 it's here and 1 comma 0 it's here so now we can join the graph so when you join the graph you will be getting so these two points will be the solution that is x is equal to plus 1 and minus 1 we have found it using uh, traditional quadratic uh, equation solving method and graphical method now we can find the solution for this equation now similarly when you consider this type of equation when you solve it x square it's plus 1 so you will be getting minus 1 and x is equal to plus or minus root of minus 1 so we do not know the value for uh, value for the numbers which in root which have minus so here it is root of minus 1 so we do not know the solution so we can't able to find the solution suppose when you solve it graphically consider x minus 1 0 and 1 x square it's 1 0 and 1 then x square plus 1 so plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 0 plus 1 is 1 again 1 plus 1 is 2 so what are the coordinates we are getting here minus 1 comma 2 and 0 comma 1 and here it is 1 comma 2 now you try to solve it graphically so graphically this is 1 this is 2 minus 1 minus 2 this is minus sorry plus 1 and 2 and here it's minus 1 minus 2 here you will be getting minus 1 and minus 2. Now consider this graph. Okay, listen. Here it's minus 1 comma 2. First coordinate is minus 1 comma 2. Where is minus 1 comma 2? It's here. Uh, where is 0 comma 1? It's here. Where is 1 comma 2? Here it's 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2. Now you connect the graph. Connect the point. So when we connect the point we get equation uh, we get a curve like this here there is no intersection in x-axis there is no intersection in, in x-axis so we cannot find the solution for this equation so to find the solution for such equation they have introduced complex numbers to find the solution for such equation we they have introduced the complex numbers now let me tell you how the complex number is developed okay first of all we know 
Yeah, that is the smallest set in the number is the natural numbers. It starts from 1, 2, 3 etc. Now this natural number together with the 0 forms the whole number. That is 0, 1, 2, 3. Now whole number with the negative of the number. That is minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1, 2. It forms the integers. So they are integers. Now next comes the rational numbers. That is Rational numbers. We know no rational number. It is of p by q form. They, it, it is the next set. The next biggest set is the irrational number. Irrational numbers. Irrational numbers means we know value of e, root 2, etc. These are all the irrational. This all together is called as a, this all together is called as the real numbers. Next comes the complex number so the complex number is the biggest set this all together forms the complex numbers okay this is the so complex number is the biggest set in the number system now let me tell you what is the complex number what is the representation so complex numbers complex number is generally represented by x plus i y complex number is generally represented by x plus i y where this x and y this x and y are the real numbers x and y are the any value of real number and this x part this part in x plus y x plus i y this x part is called this part is called the real part this part is called the real part and the part i y i y is called the imaginary part this is called the imaginary part so the generally the equation have real part and sorry generally the representation complex number has real part and imaginary part now in this complex number x plus i y we have told that this is real part and this is imaginary part. In this section, when you give the value of y equal to 0, what will be, what, uh, how does this uh, representation becomes x plus i into 0 which is equal to x. So, x is real number. From this data, we can say that every real number is a complex number. For example, 5 it is a complex number 5 is a complex number how can we say that 5 is a complex number with imaginary coefficient 0 this can be written as 5 plus i into 0 here the coefficient of imaginary part is 0 so we can say that every real number is a complex number this is one of the results Next comes some basic operations on the complex number. Uh, first, let me tell you scalar multiplication. We know, already we have known what is mean by scalar multiplication. Suppose consider the one complex number x plus i y. When you multiply this by a scalar value for k, example k, then it will become k into x plus i y which is equal to k x plus i into k y. So this is also a complex number. So what result we can conclude from this scalar multiplication of a complex scalar multiplication of a complex number is again a complex number. Next another result addition of a complex number addition of complex number is a complex number. So when you take z1 equal to x plus i y and z2 equal to x here you take x1 y1 here x2 y2 then when you add two complex number z1 plus z2 you can add two uh, in the two complex number you can add the two real part z1 plus z2 in the sense here we, you can add this so x1 plus x2 plus from this two equation from this you can add the i take i commonly so you can take y1 plus y2 so this is also a complex number so 
addition of a two complex number is again a complex number that is it is x plus i y this is x plus i into y similarly subtraction of two complex number is also a complex number and uh, for example when you put like this z1 consider this complex number z1 is equal to x1 plus i y1 and z2 equal to and z2 equal to x2 plus i y2 when you subtract this two complex number z1 minus z2 you will be getting x1 plus i y1 minus x2 plus i y2 so when you subtract this you will be getting x1 minus x2 here i is common no so take plus i commonly into when you take this coefficient it is y1 minus y2 so subtraction of two complex number you can write it as fully subtraction subtraction of two complex number is again a complex number these are all some of the results of a complex number still we have some more basic algebraic operation on complex number we'll see that in the next class thank you